aphid control in desert lettuce. We mentioned in our previous update that foxglove aphid was beginning to colonize lettuce in the Yuma Valley. In the past two weeks, aphid activity and particularly foxglove aphid has increased dramatically in our untreated control lettuce plots here at the Yuma Ag Center. Keep in mind, foxglove aphids can be difficult to locate in fields due to their patchy distribution. It is not unusual to sample dozens of plants and find nothing and then find two to three plants heavily colonized with foxglove aphids. Green peach aphid is generally more uniformly distributed among plants. They're also still prevalent in our lettuce, although not at the same densities as foxglove aphids. We're also finding green peach aphid and cabbage aphid beginning to rapidly colonize young cabbage plants. Because all these aphid species are inherently different in their susceptibility to insecticides, the proper choice of product is important for achieving adequate control. For more con information, please view Aphid Control Chart 2014. Cabbage Looper Our pheromone trap captures of cabbage looper moths for the past two weeks have been unusually high for this time of the year. See Area Wide Trapping Network. This is largely due to the above average temperatures we've been experiencing in the desert. In addition, corn earworm tra trap catches remain consistent from our last update, particularly in the Welton Dome Valley area. This increases in moth activity may indicate potential increases in egg laying and larval infestation in your later produce fields. It would be well advised to pay careful attention for fresh feeding signs and small larvae when scouting for aphids and thrips. Addition of a pyrethroid to aphid and thrip sprays can help with looper and earworm control. Mystery Lepidopterus larvae identified. In our last update, we mentioned that an unidentified Lepidopterus larvae has been found burrowing into the roots of young romaine plants in the Yuma Valley. Because of the unusual coloration and patterns of the larvae, as well as their root boring behavior, we were uncertain of its identity. After rearing the larva from, to a moth, we were able to identify the left species. With the assistance of Ian Watkinson, we have identified the species as a beet army worm, Spodoptero xigua. Please look at the mystery larvae PDF in our website. This was surprising given the odd markings and coloration. In fact, many, including myself, speculated that it might be a cutworm. But beet army worm larvae are known to vary in color based on temperature and food source, among other things. Why these larvae were boring into the lettuce roots is more confusing. In 24 years of working with beet army worms and lettuce, I've never seen this occur. However, Peter Ellsworth noted that he has occasionally seen them bore into cotton terminals. You learn something new every day.